Okay, so over the hills, through the woods, to grandmother's house we go. But before you do that for the holiday season, make sure your car is in tip-top shape. And joining us now is the car coach, Lauren Fix, to help us do that. Hey there. Hello there. Well, first of all, welcome to Houston. You left Buffalo. It's freezing. You're looking forward to warmer temperatures? I, I got off the plane thinking this is going to be awesome. Warmth, because it's cold. It's as cold here as it is at home. Yeah, I think you brought the cold weather with you. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It wasn't okay. intentional. We, we, we enjoy it every now and then. Every now and then. Uh, yeah. Well, one of the key indicators that things have changed with our car is I got up this morning and there was that light warning. Your tires are low. Right, that's a tire pressure monitoring sensor. That's on all vehicles that are from the late, basically 2000 and on, a lot of the upper, upper end vehicles. And now everybody has it, and that's yeah. required. Uh, what's important to note is for every 10 degrees of outside temperature change, and boy, we've had a lot of it, yeah. you can lose two pounds of pressure. So when you check your tires, if you don't want to do it yourself, that's why you find an ASC certified technician to do it for you. Actually, anyone can pretty much check tires. It's so easy. I have it in my book. Uh, you can check it with the number inside your driver's door in the morning when the tires are cold. And that number will actually help you save the life of the tire because tires are not yeah, low Yeah, I was going to ask you, like, how important is that? Because I noticed just that my car's not driving as smoothly this morning. Right. Actually, we can start with tires. We we're going to start under the hood, but we can start with tires okay. if you want. Um, I have a digital tire pressure gauge here. Uh, or you can use a dial gauge. Either one works. Now, this is really easy. You can buy these anywhere. This one was like $5. I uh -huh. just bought it because it's good to have. Checking your tire is so important. If you look like it's not worn evenly across, that's something to consider. This is a brand new Continental DW tire, and it's extreme contact. So it's going to give you great rain and great yeah. dry ride. Does that ride. old kind of uh, rule of thumb, putting the coin in there to right. see how far it goes, does that still work? In this work? case, it's a quarter these days. You put you know, Washington's head straight into the tread. If you can see the top of his hairdo, it's time for new tires. Yeah. Remember, tires are expensive, so checking your tire pressure once a month really, truly makes a difference. Okay. We don't get a lot of ice here in the right. Area, but when we do, it usually is ice, which nobody, I don't right. care where you're from, nobody can really right. drive well on ice. No, no one. No, ice is dangerous because what happens is there's nothing between the, the roadway and the car other than yeah. ice. So what you need to do is make sure your vehicle is, number one, prepared properly so that you don't have to worry about bad brakes or you haven't changed oil, all those things right. that are really important. But if you are seeing ice and you can get one set of tires off on the side where there's like gravel and one on ice, that's probably the only way to get through it, or stay home. Yeah. Sometimes that's the best bet. But Because we don't have to drive far to get to ice in, in Texas. I mean, you know, Dallas oftentimes oh, has it. You're driving on up through Oklahoma, absolutely. Colorado, you're going to run into snow right, and Right, again, this is where all these things under the hood are really going to make a difference. The okay. performance of your car is really going to be amplified when the temperature is cold. If your hoses and belts look like this, the, these are really bad shape. I see these are my kind of props. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, then obviously you want to get a technician to do it. Yeah. Have Can you put these back on my car when you're done? Oh, uh, I wouldn't yeah, put right. that on your car. <laughs> I, would put that on, I would throw that in the trash, actually. <laughs> uh, if you've got high mileage cars, you have some beautiful cars here in Houston. Just nice cars. That are, they're older, in great condition. The key to keeping those alive is changing your oil and using a full synthetic oil with a top quality filter. This happens to be made here in Houston, which is totally cool. It's royal purple. Uh, this is an HMX line. It's a high mileage motor oil. And when you have over 50,000 miles on your car, you should be running pure synthetic. This is so important. It lowers your uh, fuel, it increases your fuel economy, lowers the emissions, and saves the engine life. Yeah. I and that's the thing that we, we underestimate. We think, right. okay, it's not going to make a big deal, if, but it's all these things combined Absolutely. that really stretch the uh, value of your car. Right. Like this is a Grand Cherokee. It's a brand new one, and uh, it's actually diesel. So a lot of people are switching to diesel vehicles because they get better fuel economy. This is 30 miles to the gallon in a full size SUV. Yeah. I actually had a diesel car not long ago. I love uh, well, actually, back in the 90s. Yeah. And it was so funny because I would go to fill up and I would fill up with the truckers. Yeah. Right? Because not anymore. At the time, you really <laughs> get it. But you can now get diesel yeah. at a lot more uh, just your average gas station. I have a diesel car. Yeah. Yeah. And I get 700 miles on a tank. I love it. And yeah. well, the guy would say, yeah. You're going to be back away to skin soon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I could probably drive down here. Um, I use Max Tain. It's an additive that you put in because it's actually designed for diesel vehicles because this cold weather on any car makes the fuel gel more like gelatin. And uh -huh. So you want to break that down so you have better emissions, better fuel economy, better lubrication for the whole system. That's about $10. You can buy that and put that in yourself. Yeah. That's easy. Here's one of those other things that's kind of out of sight, out of mind, yeah. until you turn on the switch and you need it right yes, here. Yes, right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, of course, those windshield wipers, which there are a couple of places where right. those can break down. Right. 80% of your driving decisions are based on visibility. A new set of wiper blades, honestly, the, tr the cheapest way to get these replaced, go to your favorite auto parts store, wherever it is, and I'd like to get a set of wiper blades from my vehicle. And they're going to ask you, should we put them on for you? Absolutely. Let them do it. Whether you're, you know, you say I can do it myself or I can't. 
that's fine. Yeah. Let them do it for you. They'll also replace air filters for you because when they're dirty, this is the your car is breathing and your where you sit in the car is called the cabin. They'll do those for you as well. Yeah. So Less, but save least. money. Yeah, save exactly. Money. That's absolutely. Uh, my mom gave me when I went off to college yeah. an emergency car yeah. care kit. Yeah. I think we I had the original one still oh, in my car okay. and I needed a flare one day. I was like, this doesn't work anymore. So make sure you go through right. that emergency car care kit and make sure you have the things that you that are critical, like jumper cables, a right. uh, flashlight with new batteries. Right. You know that, especially here when it gets so hot, it oh. drains those batteries yes. and it gets cold. Right. Uh, your first aid kit and uh, you know protein bars and bottled water. You never know you can be stranded on the side of the road. Right. I want to wrap up with okay. uh, how you got started in the car care business. Well, I've been working in the auto industry since I was, believe it or not, a kid, but my dad worked for the big three automakers, and I really have just fallen in love with cars. I was a tomboy, and what was kind of cool is when I turned 16, I bought a car and went racing. So I've raced cars, and I've worked on cars, and my husband and I restore cars, and my last name really is it's Fix. Fix. Yeah. I know my daughter, Shelby Fix. Uh, <laughs> named after the Shelby. Named after the it, yeah. Shel from Texas. Yeah. Um, and so we've always, you know, it's always been part of my passion to help other people because there are so many people out there. It's the only industry that's left that's still kind of smoke and mirrors. It's a little mystery, yeah. yeah. Right. And you want to know about fashion? I can find that out. You want to know about nutrition? It's there. You want to know about fitness? It's there. But when it comes, even your home, when it comes to your car, there's a lot of, people are very scared. They're very timid. No, I don't want to mess it up. You right. Know? And right. they don't want to work so, on it themselves. So this is part of my passion yeah. to help as many people as I can be empowered. And you're helping us through your book. We'll Thanks. put information about that on our website, greatdayhouston.com. Thank Lauren, you. thank you very much. Now go get warm. Okay, okay. you too. <laughs> also coming up, our rabbit ears hopping back into TV land. Digital Doug has more on that coming up. Hi, Doug. Hey there, Deborah. We're live coming to you from downtown talking about this brand new gadget. It's like a wireless TV antenna for your mobile device. We'll talk more about that and how you can get free coffee today coming up.